Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we will be reacting to Solo Leveling Episode 7. And in the last episode, we found out that Jin Woo is long gone. He is no longer the bright-eyed kid that he was in the beginning of the series. From now on, we're going to be calling him Him Woo. Because the way that he just completely destroyed that entire party was just, it was unfair. Honestly, I would hate to be any of them because they got absolutely clowned on and I think the coolest thing about that entire scene was not only the OST, the OST was absolutely fire, but on top of that, it really makes you wonder just how far Jin Woo has come, or sorry, Him Woo has come, because those guys, I believe they were all like D rank and then the last guy, the leader was C rank, I'm pretty sure and he just completely destroyed all of them so where does jin woo's power stand do you think he's maybe c rank as well since he beat him so easily he might even be b rank but without any further ado let's just jump right into this episode so if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like while you're down there don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know whenever i drop a brand new solo leveling video and lastly if you head on over to the patreon and join the two dollar tier then you get access to all of my uncut reactions including this series right here but with that a lot of the way let's dive into this also apologies if i sound or look a little bit sick my allergies have been going crazy today man oh okay okay so now they're kind of investigating into what happened Oh, they think that, uh, what's his name? Ju Jin Hu? They think that the guy with the fancy armor is the reason behind their deaths. Yeah, now he's interested. Because his brother's a big shot. And also, shout out to you guys in the comments. Let me pause real quick, because I didn't notice it at the end of the episode. I thought they were just foreshadowing, like, a new villain or someone coming up. But the guy we saw at the very, very end of last episode, I didn't make the connection that that was the guy's brother that he was talking about. So, I mean, his, his brother's pretty big, man. I'm interested in seeing what he's capable of. Let's see. Maybe we'll meet him in this episode. Dang, they're smashing that chicken. Oh, he took out the enemies easily. All right. Yeah, it's it's still like messing with his head since this is his first time killing actual humans. Yeah. What is that? Was that like a hash brown? I mean, I don't know why she'd have a hash brown, but that's that's the only thing I could think of. A harmful substance has been detected. Oh, snap, he can't get drunk anymore! <laughs> Look, he keeps drinking it, but nothing's happening. Courage of the Weak. A, wait, wait, what does that say? A great spell caster Khan Diaru's blessing. The one temporary buff spirit of rehabilitation. All injuries will be healed. Jeez. Number two, long lasting buff. Health and longevity. Immunity disables toxic and abnormal conditions. Improved regenerative capacity. Now, his regeneration was already busted. Let's be honest. It was already broken. But now he's immune to toxic and abnormal conditions that's so broken he can't be poisoned he can't be paralyzed he can't be put to sleep this man is insane and he just keeps getting stronger 
毒性および異常の免疫お兄ちゃんユージンホさんって人から電話だけどユージンホ That's the guy, right? 今行く Yeah, yeah, Yu Jin Ho is the guy, and Ju He is the girl, the childhood friend. Or she at least came off as a childhood friend. Yeah, the incident. We don't talk about that. True. That is a good point. We didn't initiate. Okay. So this is what he really wants to do. Oh, that makes sense. Simple. So we need to help him through 19 dungeons? Oh, so I guess what benefit comes with forming a guild? Because if they already have a successful company, I don't see why they want to start a guild on top of that. Oh, okay, there you go, there you go. So I guess, I guess that's something I didn't realize. But I guess he just explained it here. So I guess the reason why these guys want to form a guild is so that they could gather their own hunters, send them out to collect these mana crystals, and then they get a cut of the mana crystals. So it's just like a, another uh, opportunity to profit from these lucrative dungeons. Okay, there's only seven. Oh, so I wonder if the seven are the ones that we saw fighting the insects earlier. Like, we know that guy is one of them. It's interesting, because I thought he would have been traumatized by that whole incident and wanted nothing to do with Jin Woo. I thought he would have seen him as a monster. Now he sees him as a business partner. Jesus! Hey, welcome aboard, buddy. I mean, I don't know what currency they're using, so I don't know how much that actually is. Dang. Dang. It's fair though. Makes sense. Yo, is that blackmail? I don't know. I mean, I don't think he had any bad intentions behind it, but it kind of sounded like blackmail. Him saying that he'd keep it a secret for a lifetime. I think Jin Woo was already under the impression that he'd keep it a secret, so the fact that he brought it up as kind of like a bargaining chip, it makes it seem like if he doesn't help, then he's gonna squeal. So, I can see why Jin Woo was mad there. <laughs> Dang, he looks mean. Oh no. He's already thinking about taking him out. But he doesn't know who yet, right? Bro, why whenever there's an American in anime, they always have blonde hair? Is that what people from other countries think we look like? Or I guess from Japan. Well, no, because this is Korean. Okay, so now he knows he has two targets. Oh, man. So he's already talking about taking people out and he has his two suspects. I wonder who he's going to go after first. Hmm. These moments are pretty cool. Just him and his sister vibing. Okay, so he still hasn't completely given up on the idea. He's just taking some time to think about it. Dang. They catch up. 
We've been running a kilometer every day for like the past three months. Yeah, does he get any bonuses? 102. Oh, wait, do you think he gets a bigger reward? Depending on how much he goes over. Now he's done it. Secret quest? Oh my god, what is it now? <laughs> Receive the rewards. What? Okay, full recovery. 10 ability points is crazy, especially since he didn't even level up. A blessed random loot box and a cursed random loot box. <laughs> Dude, this, this is so OP, man. And all he has to do is just get up and work out every day. No, you gotta go with the cursed one, man. A key. That key looks cool. It looks dangerous, too. You can kill someone with that thing. The Demon's Castle. Time for some more solo leveling. Elixir of Life. For his mother. Okay. Hold on. I wonder if he's ready for it yet, though. What if this is another S rank? Yep. And if it's S rank, this is gonna be intense. No way he can handle an S rank already, right? I feel like he's still got a way to go. Dang, look at that door! Oh my god, is he in hell? What is this place? All right, we got some insurance there. All right, and yeah, this probably is hell, since this thing looks a lot like Cerberus. Dang, they're looking mean. Oh, it is? Wait, hold on. It actually is hell, and it actually is Cerberus. What the heck? Wolf Assassin. All right. Activate dash. Get that movement speed buff. Ooh, we scratched it, but yeah, that was only a flesh wound. It probably barely even feels this. But don't we have the paralysis in the drain? Murderous intent. And it resisted. See? Oh, I told you, man. Jin Wu's OP, but he might not be ready for this. Look, he just shook it off instantly. Oh! Jeez! Yeah, I don't know if we're ready for this. I don't know if we're ready for this, Jin Wu. We might gotta pull out the stone while you still have an arm! This is a bit much. I don't know if we're ready for hell. All abilities doubled. Oh, God. Oh, my! It gets even stronger? Did you see his face? The enemy does not feel any pain! That's when you know you gotta leave! Dude, I know how desperately you need this elixir, but you are getting smacked around! Please, Jin Wu, not like this! Dang, he's kinda taking these hits, though, for how powerful this creature is. And Jin Wu's even said before that his defense isn't too crazy. Okay, did he just kick some sand in his face? Yeah, I'd say you gotta get out, live to fight another day, brother. Oh no! Now we're doomed! What do we do? I think he said he has to last, what, three more minutes? Ability? Oh, I see, I told you, I told you, dude. I told you when we first found out about this, the most broken thing about Jin Wu. It's not the leveling, it's not the quests, it's having a shop. This man has Amazon built into his brain, he could just order anything, free two minute shipping with the subscription, and now he's fully healed up. This is insane. Look at this, he could buy health potions, probably buy some bombs. Buy an invisibility potion. 
Dang, these pop-ups are so quick. I didn't even get to read it. Is it like damage resistance, but his strength decreases? That's so broken, man! Alright, there it is. A harmful substance has been detected. No way! Stop. Stop it. Right now. Stop this. Stop everything that you're doing. Why the heck? We know that he has immunity to, like, toxic substances and stuff. But did this man just get an immunity to a debuff? That is so broken. So he drunk a potion that was supposed to lower his strength, raise his resistance, but it was considered a harmful substance, so it got rid of the strength reduction, and he just gets a defense buff? That is so insane, dude. What is going on? He's still getting smacked around, though. But he could just instantly, you know, he gets smacked. <laughs> Yeah, no scratches still don't do much, but if we do like 20 of them, 100 of them, we'll eventually start doing some damage. Oh! Oh, that is such a cool shot! Alright, he's at 1% HP. Gotta do something, Jinwoo. Hit him in the brain. Or the eye. That's like every creature's weak spot. How much health does he have, man? How is he still alive? Ah! That's a- Ah! Alright, Jinwoo! Popped his eye socket out. Jesus. That- Oh. My. God. Bro, and now all of the hellfire that was spread throughout the entire area is being doused by the blood of the server. Great, level up, level up. Probably gets a legendary weapon from this. Another key. And he did get a legendary weapon. Mystery item. Elixir of life. Oh, he learned how to craft it. Okay. I like this. I really like this. Because it seems like it would have been, you know, a little bit too easy if he took down the boss and then immediately got the elixir of life. But I like how it's a crafting recipe. So now he's gotten his foot in the door. But now he needs to go out and get these three ingredients, which are probably also very difficult to obtain. And then once he gets those, then he can make the elixir of life. So this is cool because it opens the door for more big challenging dungeons to come. It actually like creates a purpose for him to go out and pursue these powerful dungeons instead of just doing it for the sake of getting stronger. So I really like this. Okay, there you go, there you go. So Cerberus was just guarding the actual demon castle. And we got the key to the demon castle, but now he knows, like, okay, let me let me chill out, take a step back. Cause if I go in right now, I'm getting smacked up. That was just the guy guarding the door. Who knows what the hell they have inside of there. Alright, so that was the end of the episode, and my question of the day for you guys is going to be which ability skill feature that Jin Wu has do you think is the most broken because i think you could put a good argument for anything that immunity to all toxic substances is crazy broken because not only does it just apply to like actually toxic substances like alcohol like poisons and stuff like that but it also gave him an immunity to debuffs that is crazy but on top of that, some people out there might say his leveling. The fact that he can essentially, as far as we know, infinitely grow stronger. People might think that that's broken because the potential is limitless there. Some people might say the quest system is what's really broken because you get massive rewards that can help you in dungeons, even though to complete those quests, you don't even need to enter a dungeon. All you need to do is just, you know, everyday things like working out and stuff 
and then you get rewarded with powerful tools that can help you when you do go to those dungeons. For me personally, I think it's the, the built-in Amazon website. That thing is so broken, dude. Because, of course he needs money to buy the items, but the fact that not only can he buy items anywhere, but the fact that he gets them instantly is crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna get the heck out of here, man. I am sick as a dog. I sneezed at least 30 times throughout this recording. So if you see cuts everywhere, just know that that's why. I appreciate you guys stopping by the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.